Good evening, everybody. This is the Balloon Bandit with Amusement with a Twist Orlando, and tonight I'm going to do a car. Uh, this is just one of quite a few different car videos. Um, I think this is going to take six or seven balloons. Not quite sure yet. This is like uh, the first time I've done it trying to count car uh, the balloons. So I'm going to start out with a pale blue because this looked pretty cool earlier today. <laughs> I'm going to blow it up to standard 5 to 7 off the end. Um, again, we're just using the basic body design that I have um, already built and I use quite a bit. Also, the one that you make glasses out of. Um, just like we do with the little green man. Um, just run it. Second pale blue 260 with five to seven off the end. Um, and again, we're just gonna go about our open hand length. Should be the same size as our, our bubbles that we already have on our other one. That way both sides of the car are the same length. We're gonna go with an ear twist, followed by a lock twist. Yeah. 
basket type thing going on here. Okay. Next, we're gonna take another pale blue one. Uh, this one I I blew up and I left probably good two hand length off the end. Um, you, you can make it any size you really want to. Object of this one is we're gonna start out with an ear twist. That. We're going to take it and we're going to shove it between the window of our car. Just roll it around one good time to lock it in place. Okay, now I want to give it that fast back look. I don't want the window to be straight up, so I want to bring it down. So I make it about a hand length bubble. Quite simple to stay with the hand length bubbles. And then I'm going to lock it around that ear twist right here on the tail of the car. Okay, and you should have what looks like that. You can make it bigger if you want, and smaller if you want. Then we're going to follow with a hand length bubble. And we're going to close off the tail of our car. something like that now. Then we're going to make another hand length bubble, followed by an ear twist. And then we're going to put it right up here to the other part of the windshield. I just thread the, the loose end through, and then when I get that lock twist or the ear twist in place, I just pop it in there. over one time. And you're asking me what I'm wrapping over. I'm wrapping the ear twist over one time. That way it locks into place. And I'm going to take this balloon and get rid of it. you just broke off. Um, use your hand pump if you have to. I, I do most of my twisting by uh, blowing it up. We're going to make a hand length bubble. And break it off and tie it. And then we're going to stick it right here on the front of our car. side and that, that'll bridge the nose of our car and then tuck it in turn turn your uh, lights like they're headed to the front and now your car should be looking something like that okay next we're gonna move on um, I'm going to add my black. I'm going to use two black 260s to do this part. I, I blew it up and then I then I let some of the air out. Um, it's about five fingers off the end, but that's okay because um, I'm going to squeeze it down. I want to make it semi-soft because this is going to be the tires. And again, you're gonna you're gonna want two of these. So we're gonna blow up another one. And again, squeeze it down. Whatever you do to get your balloon nice and nice and soft, because 
the object is we don't want to fight with the balloon. We want to be able to get it to set between our, our joint here and, and tie in without pushing the design like all funky like. Um, so by squeezing it down, it should take care of most of that. Okay, the way I do my tires is I have to figure out how far down I want want my tires and then I just double that for my tires. So I'm gonna hold it like it was tied on but I didn't tie it yet. And then I'm gonna I wanna give like a little space between the tire. Okay, so I'm gonna say that's about right. So we're gonna say it's about um, about a little more than two closed fists on it with your thumbs included so you know maybe ten finger bubble or so now I'm gonna double it over and I'm just gonna twist the other end um, and cut it so you we're gonna have two bubbles of equal length we should have this like sausage links. Okay, we're gonna take that and we're gonna attach it to this ear twist right on the side of the car. If I can get my hand out of the way so you can see this one right here. We're just gonna push it down and roll it under and that locks that into place. So you should have that. Okay. But before I before I get too carried away I want to take my other one and make the other side is equal as possible, so I'm going to hold it next to it. I'm going to say, hmm, that looks about right. And if I put my hands on it, and yep, that's about as even as I'm going to get. Followed up by closing the door. links just like we did on the other side this ear twist right here we're just going to tuck it in and under you can wrap it through the car if you want just on the off chance that those ear twists pop on you your tires don't pop off but I haven't had that type of issue as of yet with this thing I usually have what looks like this Okay. Now all you're going to do is you're going to take your, your um, nozzle in and your broken off in and you're going to tie it to the ear twists on the sides of the car. You, can, you don't have to pull them majorly tight, just pull it enough that it bows over. But the tighter you get it down the side behind that ear twist, harder it makes for the design to stay straight or whatever because you put, put more pressure on the on the, the joint itself between them. And you should have what looks like that when you when you um, put it in. So we're going to do the other side. And like I said, you don't really have to pull it all the way down there. Just pull the nozzle part through and then voila. I can get in here. I didn't. It's not really, really tight. It's setting just under the light instead of up behind the light. Okay. Now again, we're gonna do that with the back one too. Just, just the nozzle part. see I'm not really really tight tight on the back because I want to still use these pinch twists for uh, another piece but our car is starting to come along doesn't look like much yet hang on we're getting it okay now on the front of my car I only put one here because I want to put a grill in um, I could have used the black and just continued it all the way around if I wanted, but I wasn't.
wasn't sure what I was going to do with the grill. Sometimes you can just use the double bubble blue or whatever color. I think I'm going to stick with the black. So I'm going to use a scrap black that came off of one of the tires. Okay. And again, that's only a hand bubble. Nice, easy. And double check your hand bubbles. Make sure you're about as equal as possible. Because sometimes when you blow up a bubble that was scrapped, it's a lot softer and harder to make a same size bubble. Okay. So we're just going to tie that around the front of our car. change that out to whatever color you want um, white red green blue you can flip it the other way the blue could be on the bottom the black could be on the top gives it like a mustache or whatever like on um, the green one from um, um, cars I, I showed you guys that one the other day okay now we're coming back here and we're gonna put a spoiler on here best spoiler I've found for this so far is this one here and I'm gonna use black for the spoiler um, and just it looked better with the black spoiler from earlier uh, I was like I was very impressed with it so we'll stick with the black one okay we're gonna go three finger bubble with an ear twist followed by two small um, bubbles I mean you, you don't want like two one inch bubbles you want you want two small bubbles that are, you probably have to have three in order to make the length or whatever you want it to kind of be short or it gives like a thin like effect to it okay so you should have what looks like that I'm gonna turn it there like that okay Then I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna wrap it into that ear twist right here on the back. And again, be gentle with your ear twist. Okay, and as you saw, I only have the single bubble on the back, so I'm gonna run this to the bottom side of the blue. Basically, now all we want to do is we want to take this black set here and just twist them around. We don't want to really twist the ear twist. We just want to twist the black set around so that it locks it in place. And then once you get that locked in place, you can take off your black. Deflate your black a little bit, but save it because you're going to want it for the next piece. You need a hand link bubble. Okay. And then tie it off. I always tie off anything I break because I don't like to have to fix it later. Okay, so now if I put these pieces in place, you should have what looks like uh, a 50 
'56 Chevy or whatever with the the fins going up like that off the back. Your big bubble on top, two smaller ones on the bottom. Unless you want to flip it, and either way, I would keep the two small ones wherever the two small ones are on the other side to make it look nice. Um, I got my bumper on the bottom. You could put a muffler or something in there if you really felt like it, but I'm not adding the muffler. I'm gonna actually bridge this spoiler from one side to the other, so I'm gonna back this up on this balloon and go handling bubble. turn my ear twists when I, when I get this far turn my ear twists so that they're straight up on the outside so it kind of gives it a smooth line effect like like a regular spoiler would have okay and that's how I make my spoiler on the back as you can see it's all up there okay that's the basis of the car now I've done this in multiple different ways. I've put a black windshield in, I've put a uh, white windshield in, but I found that this one actually made it look more impressive. It's a clear, the uh, diamond clear five inch round, and I usually put it into the bottom, but you wanna, you wanna like try and judge how big it's gotta be. You don't want it too big because you don't want your car to bow out. You don't want it too small because you want to be able to fill up this triangular area with your balloon. So, uh, probably about the size of an open palm is good uh, for doing that without making too many adjustments to the car by shoving it in here. And like I said, I just shove it in through the bottom. It's like it's like a little doorway to the car. Push it right up inside there. And then I take I take the nozzle and I just wrap it around one of the side ear twists. So if it does pop out, it's not gone. And just tuck it inside the car. And as you can see, I have my clear windshield. It's like it that way. It's semi-impressive. Okay. Now as you can see, my car has an issue. It is like got a like leaning up effect, like like a swing or something. I'm gonna take these ear twists and I'm just gonna move them up in front of the windshield part itself here. And by moving them in between the windshield, what it does is it forces the design to go back down so that it's more straight. And then you just have to position your wheels. That's, again, why you want them soft is so that you don't have that pushing up on your design at the same time. So you just position your, your balloons right between there, okay? Looking nice so far. Okay. You can make your side windows bigger if you want. You can make it a square top, whatever you want. This is just ideas and these are my designs so um, if you don't like it play with it you'll you'll find something you like that's how I decided to make my cars I've played with multiple different versions of them just to get the way I like it so okay next I'm blowing up a white 260 and I'm just making a small uh, small bubble which is gonna be an ear twist that's my ear twist, and I'm just going to take that, and I'm going to 
put it next to this other ear twist in the front. And I'm just going to twist these two together. together. The easiest way is to lay them side by side and make it like a pair of lips and then just pull out and twist. So now we'll turn our right inside and then position it however you want. seems to go together quite easy and that's the car for you and I'm gonna just give it a few little rotations so you guys can see the finished product okay and that was the balloon bandit with amusement with a twist orlando hope you enjoyed it have fun <laughs>